Hey guys welcome to another video on MFF and today's topic is attack speed. We will cover all things about attack speed that you should know, so let's get started. Every character has a base 100% attack speed in this game. And the maximum amount you can attain is 130%. You can check your attack speed by clicking on the detail button on your character detail section. After you click it another window will pop out showing all the stats of your character. As you can see attack speed is mentioned here too. You can obtain attack speed by the following ways. Let's talk about them one by one and first is comic cards. You can equip 5 sets of cards which provide extra stats. Where you can find attack speed too. Second is ISO 8 set bonus. You can check your ISO 8 set bonus by clicking on ISO 8. And then on set bonus. You can change ISO set bonus by clicking on change set. There are many ISO 8 set bonuses, but I will prefer power of angry hulk cause it's the best if you want some extra attack speed. The third way you can obtain is from gears and Urus. You can check your gears by simply clicking on character gear. Each gear provide different stats which can include attack speed too. You can also obtain attack speed by changing the options on the fourth gear by clicking on change option. Another way to obtain attack speed is through Uru. You can obtain attack speed by equipping Urus. Click on the circles things in your gear section and click on equip Urus. The one in the rhombus green are attack speed Urus. Another way you can obtain attack speed is through uniform options. You can check your uniform options by clicking on uniform and then on uniform options. You can gain uniform options by upgrading your uniform. You can obtain attack speed on the advanced and heroic tier of uniform. So now let's head out and talk about why attack speed is important and how it works. So basically the name itself says about it. It increases the speed of your attacks. Or you can also say it decreases the skill attack time. But the question still remains how it works. Let's shed some light on it. So nowadays MFF is all about attack and damage power. The days of defensive build are over and attack speed helps to amplify that damage. If I simplify it, it works in two ways. One for CTPs like CTP of Judgment, Rage and Greed. And second is for CTP of Energy, Destruction or any other damage proc obelisk. If you don't know what a damage proc obelisk is, it is basically a obelisk with a damage proc that look like this. So basically we all know damage procs and CTPs like Judgment and Rage can accommodate any amount of skill in that 5 seconds damage proc, so if you have more attack speed you will be able to add more skills in those 5 seconds which will ultimately increase your damage output. Attack speed is very important for players who is ABX focused, and we all know CTP of Rage is the best CTP for ABX, so it will really help to increase your score if your attack speed is maxed out. Whereas if we talk about case 2 where you have to put all your damage into a single skill, because that's how CTP of energy and damage procs works like, attack speed is crucial. Especially for tunes like Moonstone, Proxima, and others which works very well with energy, but are hard to smash all those skills in a single proc. Now moving ahead, attack speed is very important for tunes like Cable and Human Torch which have chaining skills or infinity attacking skills, cause if your attack speed is maxed you will able to attack more missiles in the case of Cable's fifth skill in the time frame of damage proc, which will ultimately increase your damage output. 
Another thing if you are a beginner, don't worry about attack speed cause it's a stat mainly for veterans, or if you have maxed out your other important stats like cooldown duration and ignore defense. So it's time to wrap up the video agents, and I will see you in the next one. See ya.